Soon. Germany, well, they have traveled a short distance and they are looking very ominously good, if truth be told. With nowhere in contention at the Youth Olympic Winter Games in Gangwon uh, earlier this year, in January 8th they were, but they've been on the podium for the Junior World Ski Championships last year. They've been uh, second in the World Championship. They won the Continental Cup and they were third in the European Youth Olympic Festival. So they have put a shift in, if uh, truth be told. Tristan Sommerveld with a uh, jump of 97 metres. That was 118.4 points as well for him. So uh, certainly have been showing what they can do. And uh, they are ahead when it comes to the cross country here. The two men, two women involved in this. The women, two and a half kilometers. The men, five kilometers. We start with the men, then the two women, and we'll finish with our last male competitor as well. More Nordic combined throughout the week, of course. We have the men and women's competition. This is all the details you may need. The uh, course, just over two and a half uh, kilometers. Height difference of about 25 meters. And it's a challenging enough course. These are the team that have helped put this together and get these guys going. It's not the coolest, but it's certainly not like up the road in Maribor where it's about 15 degrees and sunny. French have their support. The bells are out. We're about to get underway. Quarter to the hour is our get-go time. And it is so exciting to see some of the stars of the future about to uh, get underway. Remember, that's how it will unfold points means seconds precious seconds over half a minute between germany and japan norway very close to japan slovenia well the home nation hoping for good things they've been pretty strong in the last few months austria france finland italy and the usa over two minutes behind our leaders so who will succeed here that's the big question and it's uh, Romain Bord for France, Yakuza Fujiwara for Japan, Kai McKinnon of the United States, Teja Pavic of Slovenia, Nona Leitinen of Finland, Nora Evans of uh, Norway, Gaida de Lugan of Italy, Ronja Lowe of Germany, and Katarina Gruber, who will be going Very, very soon indeed. We're just a uh, wonderful complex, by the way. <laughs> it's a great aerial shot, isn't it? And the athletes, those who aren't involved, coming down to lend their support. It's good to see all the uh, Slovenian volunteers in that, uh, well, by now, I think, well-known green and blue of their home nation. It's a wonderful part of the world. Has to be said, we are uh, in the northwest of Slovenia, near Maribor, close to the Austrian border, also not that far away from Hungary and Croatia. Remember having to drive through Slovenia to get to Croatia in the uh, COVID days. Seems a while ago now, doesn't it? Famous place for its ski jumping, but it's a pretty decent little uh, course here as well. So, not long to go now before we see perhaps about a minute or so and this is uh, Richard Stenzel of uh, Germany following him out is Yakuza Fujiwara Thank your pardon. he'll go third it's uh, Yamakazi and then Lund Line and Lund a very famous uh, Surname that one, isn't it, in Norway with Marty and Mari doing so well in the women's senior competition, which is bedded down so nicely alongside the men's competition. 
Lovro Dovzan, Jonas Fischbacher of Austria. We're in 5 1. There he is. Getting ready, making sure the skis are good, that uh, it's clipped in properly. Lubin Martin of uh, France will get the uh, their effort underway. Herman Happenen for Finland. And we are underway with Richard Stenzel getting us over the bridge and away. It is a twisty, turny course, this one. And as he said, a maximum climb about 14 metres. Japan will be next to go, but they've got a bit of work to do to uh, keep this man in their sights. You will see it is uh, Japan and Norway with uh, Kiritora Yamazaki, uh, Yamazaki, Evan Line and Lund just behind on his ski tips. And uh, well, some nations will be better at uh, the jumping section of Nordic Combine. That's the beauty of it, of course. And now Lovro Dov uh, Dovson of Slovenia. The man from the Smokarski Club. In crunch. Away he goes with a good burst away. Remember, two laps for the men, just the one for the women. Austria just four seconds behind Jonas Fischbacher. Remember, uh, Austria really have got good pedigree at the youth section here. France and Finland have gone. Just two left. Italy with Eros Consolati keeping an eye on the jury member, listening for that countdown. 141 behind Richard Stenzel at the moment. You can see the sun in the background on the mountain tops. Not here though. It is a very good course this one. It'll be so interesting to see how these youngsters deal with it. Who's going to have a standout over two minutes behind for Skylar Amy. He will have a lot of work to do. But uh, there are four legs to this, of course, and uh, quite a lot of time to get it done. And of course, only a maximum of five kilometers for these athletes as they uh, look to get underway. Our leader is tucked in. He has a very good stencil lead. And these are the two behind. Yamazaki, Lyndon Lund. Lyndon Lund just tucked in. He was, what, uh, only two seconds behind anyway. So those two will probably work to try and haul this man in. The coaches will be on the course, of course, letting their charges know. This is the rest already. Fischbacher has passed Lovro Dovzan. Wearing five, the Austrian. Austria will be looking to get on to it. Already past uh, the 1300 meter mark for Stenzel. And so the countdown to the others. 36 seconds at the start, remember. Just going back to the Austrians, just outside of the medals at the end of uh, January at the Youth Olympic Games in Gangwon. Fourth place for them. They'll be looking to put that right. They were first, they are the champions at Whistler in the World Junior Ski Championships. And this, oh, they're already reeling in the Germans. Five seconds already taken. That's where they were earlier on today on that ski slope. Three incarnations of that the first one pre-1930 so they've been jumping off that hill for almost a century now fans and coaches lining the corners here and uh, France with Louvin Martin wearing the six has gone through and is leading that uh, that third group if you will Japan and Norway 31 seconds behind and uh, it is as you are. Slovenia were a minute and 10 behind uh, the German. And they haven't made up any ground. Finland just 
taking a few seconds off. That is uh, Eros Consolati from uh, Italy coming through as well. And the first section almost done and dusted through at two and a half kilometers. We'll have a better idea of just how this is starting to uh, pan out. It uh, will come back in in a minute to that stadium complex. Here's one of the uh, inclines we were talking about. A total of 47 meters of climb, but uh, in one go, a maximum of 14. So it's not a monster course, but it's enough. It's enough to see how these athletes cope. Several different courses here in Planitica. We have, of course, the cross-country championship. We had the sprints uh, yesterday. And that continues, of course, through until Sunday. And we have the ski jumping and uh, this Nordic combined competition. If you go onto the FIS website and search for the Junior World Ski Championships, you can see the whole of the programme as well as who has succeeded so far. Who may well succeed? News, views, and interviews. And of course, the FIS app will also uh, keep you up to date with all the action. Two and a half kilometers. And uh, Germany go through first, still, with a bit of daylight between them and Japan and Norway, who are trying to close it down. Stenzel. through now then certainly have uh, closed the gap it was what about 30 seconds before at 1.3 and it is uh, much much closer they are bringing it back 28 seconds so stencil be interesting to see what Annie Hackel and Ronnie Low have in store as well Now Akazi just being dropped behind uh, Line and Lund a little bit. Here's the other group, and it is uh, Lubin Martin who has put a shift in. Others are struggling a little bit. The Norwegian uh, Evan Line and Lund in second place. But what about the rest? Lofro Dovzan will have the local support. You can see the volunteers, a little clap of the hands as he goes past. Martin, one minute and six seconds. He's done really well pulled back about uh, 13 14 seconds and one more go around for these athletes and then it's the women who will have a go once around for them remember and then we will finish off with our fourth af uh, athlete of the team and of course the question is in terms of tactics who's the strongest and for that matter does that mean you go out strong first and hold on or do you put your strongest athlete in the fourth leg and just uh, give it a blast and see what happens snow blowers are out on the course if needed it's uh, it's not as warm as some parts of slovenia wonderful course you can see the elevation it's still Richard stencil such a stencil who's coming through Putting the effort in on that uphill session, section, looking to keep that uh, gap as big as it can. And you can hear the coach giving information, urging him on, encouragement as well. It's uh, a lonely place to be. And that is the uh, third and fourth battle at the moment. And it is Norway. And Leinen Lund, who's winning it, a little tired from Koyotoro Yamazaki, who's just being dropped off the back at the moment. You see the lungfuls of air being drawn in by these athletes. A chance for Leinen Lund just to tuck up. Still the effort from Yamazaki as he crests that hill, and then he can tuck in in that aerodynamic position. Get a bit of rest. Eros Consolati. 
Still going. And from Italy, Dr. Pinzani is waiting to take over. But this is the man at, at the moment in the front. in the gloom but he won't mind it's a good job he's dug in hard and as we head towards the five kilometer mark this is uh, Lovro Dovzan has done a good job it's keeping going Martin has uh, leapt up from sixth into fourth place. Leinen Lund of Norway inside that uh, 30 second mark, but holding station. The Slovenian struggling a little bit, started what, a minute and 10 behind, but has, as you can see, really gone back a little bit here as we head to that timing gate. Struggling. And he's being hauled in by Eros Consolati, who really has put a shift in Happen and has gone through. Dovzan, over two minutes behind now, has lost a lot of time. And that'll be disappointing for the uh, local fans. But there is still a long way to go in this race. United States a long way behind with uh, Skylar Amy. Started two minutes and second, uh, seven seconds behind and has uh, certainly not closed that gap. In fact, almost three minutes behind. And here is uh, Annie Heikel of Germany who will take over for one lap here. A blast around this course, two and a half kilometers. Here comes Stenzel. A really good effort from the German who dug in particularly well in that second lap and away goes the German's second athlete. It is Annie Heckel and away she goes. Meanwhile, chasing down still on the course, Evan Leinen-Lund. It is an excellent Excellent effort from uh, him and Ingrid Latter is uh, waiting. Got to get it right. Don't want to waste any time. Little tap on the back and away she goes. Good job from Evan Leinand Lund. So two of these teams only have had the changeover. It's getting a little busier now. Japan come in and Japan have done really well to hold on there. Hazuki Aikida it is who goes away. Here's France. Lovin Martin has done well. Marion throws Vincent. Heads out into the course and <laughs> well, Lovin just will take some breaths and uh, look up in about 30 seconds time. Lofrodovsan struggling on home slopes he will certainly be aware of every bump and jump of this uh, cross-country course 
It will be somewhere where they will have trained day in and day out. But uh, if cross country is not your bag, it's not your bag. If uh, the ski jumping is uh, what will stand out, then this is all even more uh, a torture. Into that tuck he goes. Looking to get into the stadium complex and uh, have a chance to rest like Herman Happenen of Finland. Goodness me, what an effort they put in. And they are up a place. 144 behind the leader. So in terms of where they are on the leaders, they have dropped back a little bit. This is Aikida. Put a shift in earlier on. Yeah, 91 metres on the uh, ski slope. Up ahead of her and Heikel in splendid isolation at the moment. Norway just over 30 seconds behind Japan. Uh, Norway and then Japan, France, Austria, Finland. That's uh, how it is at the moment. The United States have just gone through the changeover. Uh, they are, what, 3.14 behind. The sun is not here in this part of the valley. Panitka. Wonderful place, so beautiful as well. And uh, Heikel is ahead. Slovenia, Lovra Dovzan eventually gets there. And Slovenia in ninth place now. They've dropped down from what fourth, where they were only one minute and ten seconds behind. Now they are what 331 behind. So a lot of work to do to get somewhere close to Anne Hackel. The uh, Germans on a mission. Can they hold on? Can somebody hold them back as we head towards 6.3? kilometers Germany through that in just over 17 minutes remember Continental Cup winners silver medalists in these championships last year in Whistler will want to go one better had a horrible Youth Olympic Games as a team very very far back from the medals now, this is an interesting battle that is developing Norway and Japan are very close together and can they start to hack away at the German lead the Norwegian has edged ahead still from uh, the Japanese athlete Latin and of Finland and they were in sixth place at uh, the five kilometer mark France holding station in fourth place Thomas Vincent doing a good job there. Just over a minute. Has dropped back a little bit. Four seconds or so from the leader. And has uh, lost a little bit of touch with Norway and Japan. This is the timing mark at 6.3. In this Nordic, if you just joined us, great to have your company. Hope you can stay with us throughout. Uh, we've got some ski jumping coming up later here in the Junior World Championships. But we've got lots going on all the way through to Sunday. Gretler of Austria it is who goes through. And uh, Sofia Gretler in uh, fifth place. Latinen not far behind. Has visuals, as they might say. Just, what, 13, 12 and a half seconds behind. Tia Malorv of uh, Slovenia, the home nation. Not having a great day there at the moment. And from the United States, this is Carl McKinnon, I'm oh, sorry, Kai McKinnon, who has a lot of time uh, to make up, yet to go through that 6.3 kilometer mark. We're down in ninth place, no, eighth place, at the five kilometer mark and 
three and a quarter minutes behind everybody else. Mzani's gone through two and a half minutes. Uh, we are still waiting to see this woman come through. Remember, just the two and a half kilometers. I say just the two and a half kilometers. It's enough, especially when you're trying in that short window to gain some time on your competitors. United States with uh, McKinnon coming through. And that is all right. She's uh, certainly gained on the leaders by a quarter of a minute or so. So she is going for it. Hell for leather. But as you can see, a long way to go if she wants to catch up any of the others in front of her, really. And the Slovenians struggling through in ninth place. They've uh, just pulled it in a little bit. Seven or eight seconds or so. And the uh, skiing style is not a classic race, this one. 20 minutes on the clock. And through comes uh, Hackle. Rune Lull is next to go. She uh, jumped equal furthest. 98 meters earlier on today, she was at excellent. Equaling uh, Stencil and Yamazaki, two male athletes. Stumble from Hackle is acceptable once you've done your bit. Just one of those markers. Well, 19, almost 20 seconds is the gap only between Germany and uh, Norway. It was 37 and a half seconds last time we looked. So uh, can they start to chip away here? Can Lo do something to hold on? Athletes are waiting. It's Japan who will come through next. And Aikida will hand over to Yuzuka Fujiwara. Didn't have a great jump. She was what, 84 and a half meters. And perhaps she will be able to do something here. Tap on the back for Roman Bord, and she takes over for France. Into the forest she goes. Here comes uh, Gredler for Austria, who started in fifth. They are still in fifth at the moment. And they are more adrift of the leaders for sure. At one minute and 20 seconds. The question is, can they get on the podium? Certainly a possibility. Latinen has handed the baton over to Hetta Hirvenen for Finland. Here she comes. Yeah, uh, tap on the back is all you need, and as long as you are done and dusted in that changeover area, uh, is all okay. Twenty-one minutes and five seconds, almost six seconds, was the time through three laps of this course two for the first man one for the second athlete the first female italy it is who come through in uh, eighth place the united states a long way behind as well Uh, well, the women almost done and dusted. This is their lap, the last lap, and then two laps for the men. And it'll be fascinating to see whether that uh, 20 seconds or so between Germany and Norway can be done. Slovenia bringing up the rear at the moment. Unfortunately for the home fans, the look round over her shoulder for Tia Pavic as Tia Mavor comes through. And a little tap, and then she can go to her haunches and start the recovery. Her day is done now. They'll be watching like us, the timings and the big screen. 
over the bridge into the forest. Our ninth placed athlete is Slovenia, the nation that is in ninth at the moment. And as they go through and start their next lap, now almost halfway through is the German. This is uh, Ronja Lowe. But look, look at the distance between her and uh, the second placed athlete. It is uh, Nora Evans. So Lowe goes through. She looks like uh, she's not massively comfortable. Is there a bit more attack from Norway? At uh, 7.5, it was, what, uh, almost 20 seconds. Uh, in fact, it's eight is not a massive difference at the moment as Fujiwara comes through. So Fujiwara has overhauled the Norwegian in short order. Well, Evans coming through. At seven and a half metres, Norway with 20 seconds uh, behind Germany in 22 seconds, 23 seconds. A little bit more, actually, ahead of Norway, but she's gone backwards, and it's Japan who have come storming through, and they are the one challenging Germany and low. Well... Not long to go for these uh, women athletes on their lap of uh, this cross-country course. Different uh, distances for different competitions. The uh, sprint race is a little bit different yesterday for the cross-country athletes. Nordic combined using this two and a half kilometre course. And it's, I think, a, a good one for these athletes. Germany lead. Japan from... Norway, France and Austria, the top five. No one else has gone through that eight and three quarter kilometer mark just yet. Mountains towering over this uh, valley. It is so dramatic here in Planitica. In Northwest Slovenia, we are hugely grateful for uh, uh, everyone who's put this on. A warm welcome for an exciting championships. And uh, here comes Ronnie Lowe being cheered on by those in the yellow coats, the German coaches following her up the hill. And she's too quick and off she goes and uh, doubles back and down the hill. Not far behind though that is uh, Japan, Ikuzu Fujiwara. Short and compact and powerful, and away she goes. 18 seconds, eight and a half seconds, the difference. We'll see what the difference is at that handover. And, uh, well, Norway are struggling. Nora Evans is struggling. Was in second place when she took the baton from Ingrid Latte, but has really struggled and uh, in danger of being overhauled by France. This is Roman Bord, who is doing a good job here in fourth place. Remember the last uh, member of these teams to go, it will be a male athlete and uh, they will have two laps of this course to go and uh, it's getting close visually the Japanese athlete can see what she needs to do. And the men are ready. Uh, last exchange. Hold on to your hats, because here we go for the denouement of this Nordic combined team competition. Germany in the lead. What is the gap, though? It was 18 and a half seconds. And it is going to be something similar here, I suspect. Heading into the changeover area here. And there you go, 18.6, tenth of a second. They have lost in that last uh, kilometre and a bit. But they can see, they can see each other, as can these two here, third and fourth, Norway and France. And it's been a tough old circuit for Nora Evans. Just needs to dig in, keep going. 
and give uh, Jurgen Birgit Storsfin, uh, Storsfin a chance. He gets the tap. Away he goes. Look at the power. In uh, his initial movements, moving fast. Two laps for him and the rest of the male athletes here. France a minute behind on their changeover. They've just drifted a little bit in terms of uh, their distance from the leader. So half an hour gone of this race. Not long to go now. Just uh, the two laps for this last uh, member of the teams in this Nordic combined team competition. And if you're new to the sport, it's great to have your company. And I, I teach my grandmother to suck eggs if you're used to the sport. But, uh, of course, the ski jumping comes first by and large and then depending on how many points you've got it's converted in the Gunderton anyway to uh, how many seconds ahead of the rest you are and then uh, we'll just leave it for the skiers to see if they can bridge the gap and Germany have been out ahead all this time Stenzel, Heikel and Lowe have gone Sommerfeld it is who is on the slopes at the moment Tristan Sommerfeldt, man from the Ersberg club, skiing out on his own. He has an 18, or had an 18 point difference. Just uh, making sure nothing distracts him. And it's difficult when you're out on your own at the front because you can't uh, use somebody to pace you. He'll be getting cut information from the coaches as to where Sushi Narita is. It is Japan who are ahead at the moment. Germany have gone through, or go out to go through 11 and a quarter kilometers. So halfway through the first lap for him, and it's 32 minutes and three seconds. That's the time, but uh, the most important time is the split you are looking at. Remember, Japan, as they went through the 10K, were 18 seconds, 18.6 seconds behind. It's going to be more. It's into the 22nd mark, 20.7, and uh, at Sushi Narita is just uh, falling back a little bit. There is time for that to change. But uh, we did wonder whether Germany would be hauled in by Norway. And uh, it was the third leg from Nora Evans that uh, put pay to that. Norway should go through in uh, third place. Jürgen Birgit Storfsen. Here he comes. What can Storfsen do? Remember, 45 seconds at the changeover. And he's even further behind Somerville and uh, not at the races for second place either. Well, they'll be looking at the very least for a, a podium place. Uh, will Norway, World Championship winner here in Planitia, the uh, Norwegians. in uh, what February last year the end of uh, February World Championships not the World Ski Championships and just outside the medals in the uh, Olympic Games the Youth Olympic Games in fifth place but it's there for Germany at the moment this is the man who has to make sure he keeps his uh, engine going Tristan Sommerveld it is going through Chance just to, as he heads back down from whence he came, to take a breather, tuck those skis in. Little adjustments on the skis, of course. There's as much danger. You don't want to fall, especially that's a tricky left-hander with a bit of speed on it. But he's negotiated it really well. And round he comes. Looking to see where we are at the 12 and a half kilometre mark. That'll be one lap done for these men. And I think anything like he, the lead he had at the last time check of what, 20 seconds, surely 
will be enough. Slovenia have Urban Zalec out on the track. Their uh, last athlete. Long way behind. Last time we uh, checked in. Slovenia in ninth and last place. Uh, more than three minutes behind. But this is the man in the lead at the moment. Crowd getting behind him. Some of that with one more lap to go. Let's keep an eye on the split here. Through comes the Japanese athlete. This is Atsushi Narita. Last lap for him as well. But the gap is certainly getting bigger at the moment. 20.7 before at the last. Now 22.6. Putting those long strides in. And uh, here comes uh, the Norwegian. Birgit Storsvin. Again, I think now it's a podium place. He'll be looking over his shoulder with France uh, making a few inroads. Here he comes through this uh, stadium section. It's over a minute for sure. Minute and 21 seconds behind last time. As we wait to see what time he goes through. Back out in uh, splendid isolation is the German, Tristan Sommerfeld, holding up his end of the German bargain. They were excellent in the ski jumping. 459.7 points. Quite a long way ahead of Japan, then Norway and Slovenia, who jumped out of their skins to take fourth place. But uh, the cross country is not uh, their strong point. And they have gone from fourth down into ninth at the moment, which will obviously be disappointing for the locals. Almost done here. Just another couple of Ks, less than a couple of Ks to go. It's a wonderful course. It does take you round to the uh, the foothills of our uh, different ski jumping hills. First hill pre-1930 on Mount Ponca. And uh, what, 1933, the Budek Giant, named after Frankie Budek. And uh, the new hill, 1969. So... <laughs> A lot of history, but some great facilities. And this is uh, the cross country. Facilities are fabulous as well. It is Tristan Sommerfeld, who is on the homeward leg of this. Germany looking to take the first uh, Nordic combined medals in this youth ski championships. What time will it be? Yeah, he's doing well. Now then, nearest competitor, Japan's Atsushi Narita, was just inside 25 seconds. Here he comes. What can he do here? I don't think there's enough time. And actually, I think he may have uh, actually fallen behind he has and by some distance that's about a five second swing in favor of Sommerfeld in the last kilometer or so 1200 meters and behind them working hard as well Jürgen Birgit Storchfin might have had a chance but uh, Nora Evans did not enjoy her time on this cross country track and uh, went backwards quite quickly from second place to third Wonderful competition, Nordic combined. Two very different skills, ski jumping and then the cross country. But uh, to be able to master both is such a, a gift. And Virgit Stilson goes through again just a little 
further behind Narita than he was uh, just 1,200 metres ago. But we are heading towards the finish. It is Germany who have dug in nicely, who are still in their own little race as we head towards the 40-minute mark up this hill for one last time. He is motoring now. The German coaches and support staff urging him on. They'll let him know. Just steady now. Steady and you've got it. And Germany can celebrate. They'll be waiting down in the stadium area. His uh, teammates will be waiting. Chance for them to go two better. And their uh, Youth Olympic Festival. And to follow up that Continental Cup win that they had in Isens in uh, Austria. Into the stadium area we go. It is Germany who are going to take it here. They have been strong and consistent all the way through. And it is Tristan Sommetveld who will see us through here. In he comes. Time to look behind. Time to take it all in. A time to point at his teammates and celebrate Germany first in this team competition here at the Junior World Ski Championships. They take first. Congratulations, Richard uh, Stenzel, Anne Heckel, Ronje Lowe, and Tristan Sommerveld. They are a long way ahead of the rest. They are top of the podium. Second place, well, they dug in hard, didn't they? They were second after the ski jumping. And look at that smile from... Ad to uh, Tushi Narita. It's silver for the Japanese team. Congratulations. Kyotaro Yamazaki, Hazuki Akida, Yazuka Fujiwara, and the man who brought them home, uh, Sushi Narita. Not far behind, but not close enough to bother the Japanese. Here comes. The third place team, it is Norway. They will take a medal here in the Team Nordic Combined competition. Well done to them. Evan Leinenland, Ingrid Lata, Nora Evans and uh, Jürgen Birgit Storsvin. Well, it's uh, for non-podium places, but there is a race on now. On the far side, France. Nearer to us in the red, it's Austria with uh, Paul Walcher and uh, Lilan Triand. That is the uh, the race for fourth place. It's going to be Austria who take it by four tenths of a second. Disappointment for the French who had uh, really done excellent after starting in sixth place. Well done to the Austrian team, Jonas Fischbacher, Anna Sophia Gredler, Katharina Gruber, and Paul Walcher. Our first five are through. It's going to take a little while to uh, get the others through. Slovenia heading towards five minutes behind the leader. And we are just pausing and waiting now to see who comes uh, next. The United States of America were ninth out of the ski jumping, but have uh, certainly made progress all the way through. Caleb Zuckerman is their man out on the track at the moment. And it is Finland who have put a burst in. Holopainen, it is, who is coming through and is likely to take sixth place here. They were seventh after the ski jumping. They have uh, been there or thereabouts in sixth or seventh, and they've won that particular little battle. So it is Finland and uh, Valtteri Holopainen who comes through ahead of the United States. Caleb Zuckerman in a good battle there. They've hauled themselves up a couple of places. 
congratulations to their team. Just a couple to come. Italy looked like they might be making inroads at one point, but have uh, dropped back down into eighth place. Manuel Sinona comes through, and uh, that leaves just the hosts who started after the ski jumping in uh, fourth place. And they will be bringing up the rear here in a mixed team competition in the FIS Nordic Junior World Ski Championships. All smiles from the Japanese. No mistaking who they're representing. One more on the track. Urban Zayek is uh, that man. Still a bit of time to go before he can take a breather. Quite some way behind now. But uh, just to take part in these junior championships, wonderful experience. And some of these guys and some of these women's we, women we will see, of course, in the senior championship. Some of these athletes have made the first tentative steps in the continental championships, some in the World Cups as well. But, uh, you know, the likes of Westfeld uh, Hansen in the women's competition, who was a champion in these competitions. You know, started, got their experience here, and well done to Slovenia. Kept it under the five-minute mark. That's a tough old gig to come over the line whilst the others are still celebrating. But uh, we're all done. Those are all our athletes home, and that's how it has finished. Germany comfortably ahead of Japan. Norway in third. The top three, as they were after the ski jumping. Uh, Austria in fourth place. Uh, France, Finland, the United States, Italy and Slovenia dropping from fourth down to ninth. Well, a wonderful, wonderful performance from everybody. The Slovenians are unable to celebrate a uh, short podium, but these are our athletes who will be on a rather crowded podium, I imagine. Germany who take it, who are the mixed team junior world champions here in the Nordic combined event and discipline. Japan taking second and uh, Norway with a hard one third as well. Congratulations, what a race. How did you feel during the race? Uh, thank you, the conditions are very, uh, it's 